Hi there, this is your reading with me Capricorn for the 13th to the 19th of December. We're going to have a look and see what is coming through for the week. So I hope you are well, I hope you are doing good. And I just wanted to mention before we do get started that I do the free reading giveaway. So if you're interested in winning a free reading, uh, with, <laughs> I can't even speak, if you're interested in winning a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Private paid readings are also listed down below. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And the last thing I wanted to mention is intention manifesting items are available on my website. Thousands of people have seen results with them. So you can check out the review section at the bottom of my website, which is shopmoonlightguidance.com. They're handmade, meditated with, sage, and there's so many different intentions on there with different items like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse. There's also crystals, candles, sage as well. So if you're interested, definitely do check those out as well. And yeah, that is basically what we have right there. So yeah, let's, let's, let's have a look. Okay. So yeah, you can check everything out if it's all down below and Capricorn 13th to the 19th of December. Let's see what we have for you. Ooh. So it appears to me like someone's coming forward to say something because you've got the fool, right? Someone is coming forward to say something whilst you're literally minding your own business. <laughs> you're, you're literally like doing you, taking care of you, putting yourself first. You know, this confidence and strength that just exudes out. And whilst you're doing all of that, there is such a powerful, powerful energy here of progress. Uh, and movement, and so much more. So... Someone here who's not really said something for a while is now thinking of coming forward and saying something here. There's a lot of reflection here and there's a lot of needing to say something, which I think is interesting because you've literally got so many nines right here and then you've got the 10. So the nine to the 10 here is about this person wanting to bring this completion forward. For many of you, this is someone romantic, a friend or a family member who you haven't spoken to in a while and suddenly now they want to progress this connection forward. They want to build up that bond that they felt they had with you and they want to say something. And for a lot of you, it's, it's very unexpected because you won't expect this to happen at this time. And you know why it's happening at this time. Drum roll, everybody. Venus retrograde. Yep. Venus retrograde starts on the 19th. And so obviously, you know, this week we, we start from the 13th. We go to the 19th. On the 19th, Venus retrograde happens. Boom. People that haven't spoken to you in a long time seem to be thinking about you surfacing, wondering how they should come towards you, how should they attempt a conversation with you because they're starting to realize and have lessons. And many of them have had lessons prior to this Venus retrograde over the course of like, I would also say November and even October. And what has happened is in December, when this Venus retrograde comes around, they're starting to feel really bad. They're starting to feel really, really bad. Like they need to do something and they need to come towards you and respect you. Even temperance here as well, you know, it's, it's almost like the spiritual energies are like, look, you know, I'm trying to respect you, trying to be there for you, trying to, trying to be, um, caring. Yeah, it's, it's up to you whether you accept them coming forward or not, that's your choice. But the nine to the ten of pentacles shows that they, they want to create that completion. It's up to you whether you accept it or not, but they're starting to see you in a much more positive light. Why? Because other people in the past have treated them like S-H-I-T and you did not. Yes, you did not treat them badly. And now they're realizing, wow, you're such a kind person. You're so caring. You're so genuine. You're so nice. You didn't treat me like that. I want to come forward to you. Some of you might be like, too late. Well, it's too late. If you're really desperate though, for this person to come to you, there's a chance they may not come to you. Okay. I just, I just really want to say that because 
Desperation is a lot of attachment. And remember, the universe doesn't really work with attachment. It works with detachment when you are in your own energy like this. Okay, this is this is not desperation, the nine of pentacles. So I just want to say, if you're in a really desperate state of needing someone to come to you, they most likely won't come to you in this week. I, I just have to say that. I see this very often that when people are in their own bubble, in their own energy, they exude that confidence. Spiritually, that's enough to trigger this person here to come towards you because they feel your energy, they feel your loss, right? And they've learned their lessons, put two and two together. But if you're really desperate, it can actually do the complete opposite and, you know, they, they kind of, it just becomes delayed, basically. So that's another important thing to keep in mind is that this only comes together if you are in this Nine of Pentacles energy, which I feel so many of you are in, all right? So yeah, a temperance, uh, that's just really showcasing that the ancestors have realized, uh, gosh, the ancestors are pushing this person to come towards you. Ancestors, angels, spirit guides, right? So what I would say to you is, look, this person is coming and they have something to say. It's interesting. I want to know what they have to say. So I'm actually going to use the other um, cards. I was using my cards, but I actually feel like we should use these ones. And so actually, do you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Mercury Realms Edition 2 cards. Mercury is communication. So we'll use those. Some of you also have some work opportunities coming your way. And the Seven of Pentacles shows financial growth. So that's really interesting. Like financially, you feel pretty good. You feel good, like you're going in the right direction. King of Swords is about you standing up for yourself and having that confidence and strength and courage within yourself where you're not desperate for others. I think that's really powerful. Chariot is about balance and being able to move forward. Chariot, by the way, is really important because this is about some kind of travel as well, but also bridging any kind of distance, which is the main energy that we see here. Everything's going to be revealed to you. Everything. It will all be revealed to you. It will all be spoken about, being put on the table in front of you, and you can choose what you want to eat, what you want to digest, what you don't care about. It's it's true. Like th They will mention and put everything out, and you can be like, okay, well, take a bit of this, take a bit of this, or you can take everything, including their offer, and then wanting to build things with you. That's your choice, right? Two to the three of ones here. They will give you some time to think about things from what I'm seeing here, but what I know is that this person does not feel good about, um, you know, does not feel uh, good about treating you badly anymore, which I think is interesting, because some of you, this could be a new person that comes through, and for some of you, it's someone from the past. Okay, so let's have a look with Mercury. Ah, you just can't make this up, can you? I took you for granted and I hate myself for that. It's, it's all going to be revealed. The only thing I will say is if you are desperate for this person, it doesn't quite work. Energy is so important. People can pick up on your energies. I would also say that if, if someone is watching this and you're really desperate for someone to come towards you and you're wondering why they're not coming towards you, your energy is very potent. And the best thing you can do, and I know everyone says this, oh, take care of yourself, look after yourself. It's true. But you want to shift that energy to yourself. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. A lot of it comes with acceptance. So accepting where you currently are is really important. But also meditation. Meditation helps to lower stress, tension, anxiety, allows you to focus on the current energy, which is very important. Remember, the universe works with gratitude. Gratitude exists in the current moment. Gratitude can exist for things that have happened, yes, but you want to really focus on that energy. And what happens over the course of time, also when you meditate, for example, is that it can open your third eye. Your third eye is very, very strong because it can. it really is about your intuition, but it's also about repelling away the energy that's not good for you and attracting the energy that is good for you, but only when you put yourself first also consciously and when the emotions are a little bit more balanced because emotions can override your intuition and that can actually do the complete opposite, right? So what you want to do is you want to focus on meditation and not suppressing your emotions. You can feel how you feel, but you want to continue to stick to that path. So that's really important, especially if you have a lot of attachment. It takes time to break an attachment. Attachment can be broken with healing, but we know healing takes time. So keep that in mind. Okay, so uh, this person took you for granted. They don't they hate themselves for that. Even if this person's a new person, they could have had your, their eye on you for a little while and not really done anything about that. And that's also something that they feel bad about. Just want to keep that. I want to let you know that. I hope you don't hate me. I mean, could we get more obvious than that? You know, I feel like 
it just goes to show on so many levels that the energies here are them feeling really bad, okay, whether this is a friend, a lover, or a family member, them feeling awful, okay, even if this is a new person or someone, you know, from your past, someone that you've known, they really just hope that you don't hate them and everything will be revealed to you in this week because you've got Mercury retrograde as well. Sorry, not Mercury. <laughs> you've got a Venus retrograde, Venus retrograde coming up. And essentially when you've got Venus retrograde, it really puts emphasis on like relationships and family and people, you know, that want to come towards you, love, you know, and, and then wanting to sort things out and straighten things out and be open with you emotionally, come towards you mentally, you know, having digested things, verbally communicating with you, coming forward to say, okay, well, let's work things out in this way. Let's progress things in this way. I'll give you time to think about things because I've been thinking about things and this is what I feel we should do. So there's a lot of that that we're seeing here. So I really hope this helped you and gave you lots of clarity. The moral of the story here is that they want to work things out with you from the nine to the 10 and create their completion of harmony and balance that we see here and create a nice, happy environment where things are not too much, you know? So I hope this helped you. I hope it gave you lots of clarity, information, knowledge, and definitely do take care as well. All right, take care. Bye.